Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech InfoCut. In today's video, we will walk you through the process of installing SQL Server Express 2022 on a Windows 11 computer. Whether you are a beginner or looking to upgrade, this tutorial will guide you through the entire process step by step. So without taking much more time, let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you are using Windows 11 and have administrator privilege on your machine. Okay, so now let's move on to the downloading SQL Express 2022. For that, open your web browser and here you need to search for download SQL Express 2022. And from the search result, head over to the official Microsoft SQL Server download page. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I will drop the link in the description below for easy access. Once you are on the page, scroll down and look for SQL Server 2022 Express. Click on the download button to start downloading the installer. Once the download is complete, you need to run the installer. Okay. You will be presented with these three options. Basic custom and download media. For this tutorial, we will choose basic. It is the first test and it's installed the default configuration of SQL Server Database Engine. Okay. So now, accept the license terms and condition. And here, you need to specify the install location. If you want, you can change the location, otherwise keep it default. Okay. And uh, click on install. This installation process will begin. This might take a few minutes depending on your system speed. Okay. Great. Finally, the installation is complete and you should see a confirmation message. Now, you have SQL Server Express 2022 installed on your Windows 11 machine. Now we need to connect to SQL Server Management Studio and create your first database. Okay, so for that, click on Install SSMS and it will redirect you to the download page. Here you need to scroll down a little bit and you will find Download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS 20.2. And here it is clearly mentioned that SSMS 20.2 is the latest generally available version. Okay. So just click on this and download begin. And you can see it's nearly 474 MB file. So it might take another few seconds to complete the download. Okay. Once the SSMS download is complete, you need to run the installer. Click on install to begin the installation process. This will install the latest version of SSMS on your system. Like the SQL Express installation, this may take a few minutes. So sit back and relax. Once the installation is complete, you will see message indicating that all specified components have been installed successfully. Then you need to click on close to exit the installer. And again click on close and click on yes to exit now that both sql express 2022 and ssms are installed let's launch ssms and connect to our new sql express instance so find sql server management studio in your start menu and open it when ssms opens you will see a connect to server dialog box you can see server type is database engine here you need to enter the server name okay this will typically be your computer name followed by sql express for the authentication method choose windows authentication under connection security you will find encryption make it optional from the drop down menu and click connect and there you go you have successfully installed sql express 2022 and sql server management studio on your windows 11 machine you can now start creating and managing your database. Now that we are connected to our SQL Server instance, let's run a quick query to perform a simple mathematical operation. Okay. So for that, click on new query. And in the query window, let's write a 
simple query for one basic match. Once you have typed the query, click on the execute button or press 5 on your keyboard to run the query. Okay. As you can see, the result is displayed in the result pane below. SQL is not just for a managing database. You can also use it for a basic calculation and more complex operation. Okay, so this is just a small example, but you can explore many more possibilities with SQL queries. That's it for today's video. I hope this tutorial was helpful and easy to follow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. If you have any question or run into any issue, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching.